Welcome to how to disassemble a Mac G5. For this video I'm using an iFixit tool. Doesn't really matter what you use. But yeah. So to start, just find the latch on the back of the machine, pull it out, and then you can just take off the cover. Now immediately what you can see here are the GPU there. That's the original one that it comes with the RAM and the CPUs under there. And also your storage goes up there. So first, to take out all the RAM, just pull out these trays. The, I the iMac G5 is unique because it's in a sort of server configuration where it has the RAM in a like plate which you pull out. To take out the RAM, just pull out these latches and it should just pop out. Same as any other computer. It's pretty standard. These are, so this is server grade hardware, as you can see, because it's got massive heat sinks all over the RAM stick. This is very uncommon and only used in like enterprise stuff. So to put back in, just slot, put it on and push down until it clicks. Then you can just put it back in, like that. I'm going to take both of them out. Cool. Right. This right here is the GPU. This is the one which came stock with this computer. So to take it out, all you need to do is pull back that. But no, push it forward like that. And it should just come out. Like so. As you can see, it's red, which is quite uncommon. And this isn't actually the standard PCIe used on most computers. It's an older standard and also it's a Mac, so it's different. Uh, it's pretty similar though to normal nowadays thing. This computer, this is the um, late 2005 version of the Mac. So that's why it might look slightly different to your one. So this one, these here are the hard drive bays, or like SSD or whatever. That's where you put your storage. So here's an old hard drive. All you need to do is just line it up, slot it in like that. And then what you need to do is just put in the bracket, which holds it in. And that's just Phillips head, so you can do that. This right here controls all of the wireless communications like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. To take it out, just undo these screws here. Then, just unclip the little wire. and then put it out. Now the next thing we need to do is take off all the screws on this, the RAM cover for the shroud and this shroud here with the fans inside. Then we can try and get to this heat sink here. Quick side note, a good way to dust off all of this stuff is with compressed air. So you just put it where it's dusty and just go like, like that. You might be looking these, at this battery and being a bit confused. Actually, it's for the clock on the computer so that every time you turn it off, it doesn't reset. Thankfully, uh, these don't exist anymore because they're not necessary. But if your clock's not really working properly, then just change out the battery. Right, so here we're just going to take out all the screws on the motherboard. Make sure that you don't lose any of the screws. Always put them somewhere safe and if it's best to put them on something magnetic so you don't lose them. Now once you've taken out all the screws, you should be able to just lift this out. Like that. Man, these are huge. You have access to the dual CPUs 
and the front I.O. and also some of the um, motherboard plugs. Now all we need to do is take out the remaining screws. Unscrew all the screws, all you need to do is, is unplug the cables from the power supply from the motherboard. Make sure that you always take photos as you go along so that when you're putting it back together, you know where they go. Congratulations, you've just taken off every single thing that you can from the computer without using specialist equipment. For some reason, Apple decided to bolt the heat sinks and motherboard onto the case. So, without specialist equipment, you can't take them off. But congratulations, it wasn't that difficult, was it? And that's what it looks like when you put it back together again.